been granted the opportunity to launch and guide this Viking ship to heights known and unknown. We salute you because Elizabeth City State University is special. And Dr. Dixon, you are special. You have been chosen and today affirmed. So we honor you and we pray God's blessing be with you in this journey. Viking pride, Viking pride, Viking pride. Thank you, students. I appreciate it. <laughs> Good morning, Chancellor Dixon, trustees, state and local representatives, family and friends. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Butts. I'm the student body president here at Elizabeth City State University. Yeah, that deserves a round of applause. So they saved the best for last because, you know, we're the students. So they saved us for last. So on behalf of the student body, we would like to welcome you all to the installment of our chancellor, Carrie G. Dixon. So students, give another round of applause. Our chancellor. Chancellor, if you didn't know before, I know you felt the love last night at the student tribute. And uh, so this is to you. So to Chancellor Dixon, we never knew we could be so happy. <laughs> we never knew we'd have so much joy. But because of your love, life has a brand new meaning. Because of you, ECSU will see brighter days. Thank you. Students are still the best. Uh, okay. So we have a uh, special tribute to you, Chancellor. Um, Jalen Webb, she's going to come and sing. And so this is a tribute to you as well. Greetings. I am Jalen Webb, and I will be performing a selection entitled Rise Up, which is the theme of our academic year in honor of Chancellor Dixon. This selection was chosen to serve as notice to everyone that ECSU is rising. Broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round, and you can't find the fighter, but I see it in you, so we're going to walk it out and move mountains. We're going to walk it out and Move mountains. I'll rise up. I'll rise like the day. I'll rise up. I'll rise unafraid. I'll rise up. And I'll do it a thousand times again. I'll rise up high like the waves. I'll rise up in spite of the ache. I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again for you. Silence isn't quiet, 
And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we'll take the world to its feet And move mountains We'll take it to its feet and move mountains. I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day. I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid. I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again. I'll rise up high like the waves. I'll rise up in spite of the ache. I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again for you. We have each other, and for that we'll have each other. Oh. We will rise, we will rise, we will rise, and for that we'll have each other, and for that we'll have each other. I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day, I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid, I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again, and we'll rise up, high like the waves, we'll rise up. In spite of the ache, we'll rise up and we'll do it a thousand times again for you. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> On behalf of Chancellor Kerry Dixon and the entire university, we want to thank all of you for those greetings and warm wishes. That enduring support has sustained this university for 128 years. North Carolina has changed a lot over that period of time, and the university has grown and evolved along with our state, rising to meet new challenges and to address new needs. And I know that Chancellor Dixon is fully committed to the institution's continued success. We turn now formally to welcome and install her as the 12th Chief Executive Officer and 7th Chancellor of this great institution. Chancellor, would you join me here at the podium, please? Today's ceremony seals formally a compact between all of you faculty, staff, students, alumni, trustees, friends of Elizabeth City State University and your new chancellor. I now ask the Honorable Judge Eula Reed to come forward to administer the oath of office. Will Chair Robinson, D.V. Dixon, 
Cameron and Corin Dixon also join us at the podium, please. Statement. Chancellor, I need you over here, please. <laughs> Chancellor, your acceptance of this medallion represents the trust and responsibilities you now hold on behalf of this university. I proudly bestow on you this emblem and this and this mace, both are symbols of the office you have sworn to uphold. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and honored guests, it's my pleasure to present the 12th Chief Executive Officer and 7th Chancellor of ECSU, Dr. Kerry Dixon. It's all yours, ma'am. <laughs> Good morning. I like that energy. Good morning. Good morning. I am so excited and what a beautiful, beautiful day it is. So to my distinguished guest, interim president, Bill Roper, members of the UNC Board of Governors, members of the Elizabeth City State University Board of Trustees, ECSU Foundation Board, government officials from the North Carolina General Assembly, other state and local government officials, all program participants, 
former ECSU chancellors, all UNC campus chancellors, college and university presidents, school district leaders, colleagues from the UNC system, faculty, staff, students, alumni, sponsors, and donors, delegates from higher education institutions. Thank you for being here with me today to celebrate such a great occasion for the Elizabeth City State University. <clears throat> to my beloved family, my church family, the church that I grew up in, St. Stephen's Missionary Baptist Church out of Winston-Salem, they brought a bus here. Thank you, Pastor Cook. Thank you for being here. And my church family, Waite Chapel Church, thank you so much for being here to celebrate with us. And I have to acknowledge my phenomenal sisters of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Thank you, Soros and the mothers of Jack and Jill of America Incorporated, the Capital City Chapter. Please stand, where are you? Wave your hand. Thank you for being here. And to my Link sisters, both from the Triangle Park Chapter and the Elizabeth City Chapter of the Lynx Incorporated, thank you for being here. And to all of my friends, I have friends here from middle school, high school, college, and that's, that's, the, that's a committed friend, right? I am so thankful for all of my friends and well-wishers who are here. Thank you so much for sharing this day with us. As we mark the beginning of a new chapter in Elizabeth City State University's history, I am overwhelmed by your presence here as we celebrate this great university with high expectations for the future. I am even more elated to know that even after Hurricane Dorian altered our plans on September 6th, and I'll tell you, I lost sleep at least a good three, four days, and we provost having to make that decision, evacuate the campus, cancel the installation, but that's what a president and a chancellor is faced with, making those tough decisions. But I am so grateful that all of you who are present today and those who are joining online, thank you so much for your adjustment of your schedules and your travel here today. I say thank you to each and every one of you. We have indeed weathered the storm. Though the storms may come, at ECSU, just as other institutions, we've had our share. However, a great book reminds us that we are more than conquerors. We will withstand any storm. And I am grateful to my parents. Parents, will you please stand? Al Dean and Pamela Gibson. I am grateful to my parents for the sacrifices that they have made to instill in me the values of education, my devotion to God, and service to humanity. I am also thankful for my sister, Corey Hester, who's been my rock and my student when we were playing back in the day. <laughs> Thank you so much, sister. I appreciate you. You are definitely a blessing. And to my brother-in-law, my nephews, my grandmother, my mother-in-law, my godparents, will you please raise your hand, all of you. Thank you so much for your prayers, for building the foundation that I stand upon today because you know what the journey has been like and I thank you for being there for me. To my God brothers, my aunts, uncles, cousins, in-laws, and all who are here today, I thank each and every one of you, because I can't do this by myself, and my family can't do this by ourselves. 
It's because of all of you that we are able to do what we do. And I thank you so much. And to my husband, Devi, the first gentleman. <laughs> he is the first, first gentleman in the history of this university. So thank you so much for your love, your support, and encouragement as a husband, a father, and our first gentleman. You are greatly appreciated. And to my daughters, my girls, Cameron, stand up, Cameron. Cameron and Corinne. And Corinne told me, Mama, please don't make me stand up. Don't make me speak. But I have to because I am so proud of both of you. And although I enjoy my new role as chancellor of this great institution, I love nothing more than being your mother. So I thank you so much. I offer special thanks to the ECSU Board of Trustees and the ECSU Foundation Board members for your unwavering support of this university and me. I would be remiss if I did not thank the installation committee for their great effort in planning the installation events and our facilities and grounds crew for working tirelessly to maintain our beautiful campus for your arrival. Chancellor's installation ceremonies are not just about the new chancellor, as you heard many say today. Rather, the purpose is to celebrate the institution, its community, and its values. It is my absolute pleasure to accept the stewardship of Elizabeth City State University. This institution has transformed lives. It's strengthened communities, and it's contributed to the economic growth in Northeastern North Carolina for 128 years. I stand today in my 5'1 stature and my heels on, <laughs> feeling a bit taller than I may appear because I stand on the shoulders of many visionary leaders who have come before me and I am honored to have some of them with us here today. Former Chancellor Jimmy Jenkins, thank you so much. Thank you. Also, former Chancellor of ECSU, Mickey Burnham. Thank you. As well as my dear friend, I've known for over 20 some years, I am so happy to see him here today. Former Chancellor ECSU, Thomas Conway. And I also must recognize former Interim Chancellor for ECSU, my dear friend, Judge Charles Beckton. Thank you for being here. Thanks for your service to ECSU and for your presence. I appreciate you taking my calls when I need some encouragement. I appreciate all of you so much. As I accept this challenge, I will heed the advice that Moses gave to Joshua as he transitioned into his new leadership role. I must be strong and courageous. I will not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord my God is with me wherever I go. Today's ceremony marks a new chapter in the history of ECSU. I shared with the students, faculty, staff that our theme for this academic year was ECSU rise, is rising and ECSU rise up. And you've heard that numerous times this morning. I am grateful and humbled that you would entrust the care of this great institution into my hands, my head, and my heart. I appreciate the support given to me along with the support of the faculty, staff, students, alumni, and community. 
as I accept the charge to lead this institution. I promise that I will lead with integrity, transparency, compassion, and accountability. The future of ECSU is bright because ECSU is rising. I've, told, I've been told, and you've heard this already this morning, that former ECSU Chancellor Jenkins, his mantra was always, if you look to the Northeast, you will see a rising star, and that star is Elizabeth City State University. Here we stand decades later, and the star is brighter. We are stronger, we are riser, we are better, we are the mighty Vikings. Today, we are forging our future. In April 2018, when the UNC Board of Governors appointed me to serve as interim chancellor, my goal was to work together to establish operational efficiencies and improvements to guarantee the success and sustainability of ECSU. As we work towards this goal, I am reminded of the Sankofa bird, which is a symbol of the Akan people in Ghana. The symbol depicts a bird with its body and feet positioned forward and its head with the egg of the future in its beak looking backwards. Sankofa teaches that in the moving forward, we must constantly go back to our past and use the lessons and wisdom from there to help us in the present and the future. Yes, the past can teach us great lessons. As we look back, we pause to honor our heritage. Elizabeth City State University was founded in 1891 as a state normal school when the North Carolina General Assembly passed a bill introduced by Hugh Kell, an African-American legislator from Pasquotank County. The institution was established for a specific purpose, teaching and training teachers of the colored race to teach in the common schools of North Carolina. In 1937, Elizabeth City State Colored Normal School became a four-year teacher's college, and the name changed to Elizabeth City State Teacher's College. Between 1959 and 1963, the institution became more than a teaching college adding 11 academic majors to the original elementary education major. In 1963, the North Carolina General Assembly changed the institution's name from Elizabeth City State Teachers College to Elizabeth City State College. And on July 1st, 1969, we became the Elizabeth City State University, and this marks our 50th year as a university. In 1971, the General Assembly redefined the University of North Carolina system with 16 public universities, including ECSU. Together, those institutions became constituents of the University of North Carolina. From 1891 to this present day, ECSU has made tremendous strides in spite of many challenges. As we forge our future, let us never forget the lessons of the past. As your chancellor, I will continue to articulate the vision and chart the course for us to ensure we are building a foundation of success for the future of ECSU. Forging the future demands that we are intentional and strategic. Soon after the UNC Board of Governors named me chancellor on December 14th, 2018, I was faced with the need to develop a university's five-year strategic plan. And for my chancellors and presidents in the room, you know we're always advised not to do that right away. That's the worst thing you can do going into a new presidency, right? But we had to do it because our current strategic plan had expired. So we had to take on the development of a five-year strategic plan right away. After surveys, focus groups, meetings with stakeholders, faculty, staff, students, alumni, trustees, community, we are working to finalize that strategic plan this fall. 
and it will set our priorities for 2020 to 2025. The institution's sustainability and, ex and success demands that we must provide high quality academic programs. We must create transformative experiences for our students. We must maximize our potential through improved enrollment processes and investment in recruitment, retention, and completion efforts. We must create a culture of giving that engages our students, our alumni, our employees, community partners, and all other stakeholders. We must ensure sound and efficient university operations and enhance our customer service quality and delivery. And we must secure our position as the catalyst in regional development and facilitate collaborative relationships with K-12 school districts, industry, and government to improve our region. As we forge the future for ECSU, we must embrace the fact that Elizabeth City State University is the community's university, and the city of Elizabeth City is the university's community. ECSU's successful future will undoubtedly have a positive and profound effect on the community and the region. We must be intentional and collaborative to better engage the local community and to improve the community's perception of the university and the university's perceptions of the community. We want the community to feel welcomed on our campus at all times. And we want our students and our employees to feel welcomed in the community at all times. I appreciate the support of the community and look forward to great things ahead. We need each other to survive. The synergistic impact is far greater than our individual efforts. The university looks forward to strengthen partnerships and relationships with Elizabeth City Pasquotank Public Schools, the College of the Albemarle, Mid-Atlantic Christian University, and the U.S. Coast Guard, as well as Centera, local government and businesses. We are the neighbors. We are determined to uplift each other for the greater good we must be. Remember, when ECSU rises, the city, the county, the region, the state, and the UNC system rises. Over the past 18 months, we have had tremendous progress. I am pleased, but I am not satisfied. So we will continue to work, but let me share a few things with you. Last year, the UNC, the UNC Board of Governors appropriated the largest repair and renovation allocation for ECSU in over a decade. Again this year, they appropriated $2 million to ECSU for repair and renovation. We are indeed grateful. We need this continued investment to help us build a sustainable future. Elizabeth City State University has a unique identity out of all the colleges and universities in North Carolina. We are the only institution that offers a four-year degree in aviation science. We are training the next generation of commercial pilots, air traffic controllers, and aviation professionals. We are doing it all on our campus and in the friendly blue skies. When, we, when I arrived here at ECSU, we had two airplanes. Within 16 months, we now have a fleet of 11 airplanes. We have updated our degree offerings to include programs such as unmanned aircraft systems, also known as drones. Make sure you spread the word. Digital media, emergency management, 
sustainability studies, and an online master's of education degree program. I have one of the best provosts in this system. Thank you, Provost Ward. Our enrolled trend, our enrollment trend, sorry, is still moving in the right direction. This fall's enrollment reflected a two consecutive year record of enrollment increase. ECSU had a 5.7 increase in enrollment this year, and we were the second largest percentage growth in the UNC system. We will, we will continue to focus on growth. We are growing back into our campus, and that's okay. I remind my campus that we were in a tough situation, but we're making progress. And as long as we keep climbing and we're not going backwards, we're continuing to make progress and better days, greater days, brighter days are coming. And I wanna thank the North Carolina General Assembly for choosing ECSU as one of the NC Promise campuses. ECSU right now with our $500 per semester tuition we are the most affordable public institution in North Carolina. We provide access to an affordable college education in an area of North Carolina that needs it most. And to the students who would not have the chance at affording a four-year degree anywhere else, we must be strategic in our marketing and recruitment efforts. Demographic changes in transforming the higher education landscape are occurring. And ECSU must be innovative, intentional, and ready to compete more than ever. We must not hesitate to shout loudly and proudly that we offer all students access to a high quality and affordable education. We are also continuing to create an environment where our students love where they live and learn. When students arrive on campus this, on this campus, we will instill in them the importance of discovering their passion and leaving to conquer their dreams. In addition to enhancing the curriculum, we have made substantial efforts to beautify our campus in the interior and the exterior spaces and have extended our Viking brand into buildings across campus. If you have not taken a look, I encourage you to go take a look because Viking Blue is all over this campus and we are excited about that look and what that means for our institution. As we use the lessons and wisdom from the past to guide us on our journey forward, the best is yet to come. In a recent article published by the Chronicle of Higher Education, ECSU ranked sixth among HBCUs for upward mobility of students. ECSU ranked 13 out of 266 schools as one of the Southeast United States 2019 Best Bang for Your Buck Colleges. The third top public school in the regional college South for its 2020 Best Colleges list. 2019 Best of Vets Colleges by Military Times. And just this week, ESPN ranked our Sound of Class marching band number one, number one. Number one in division two. Great things are happening at ECSU. We must ensure sound and efficient university operations and enhance our customer service quality and delivery. As we forge for the future of ECSU, we will show that the institution operates like an organization that has been around for 128 years. We will continue our ACE mindset of, where's my faculty, what's A? Say it loud, faculty. Accountability and students, you know this too. And C, what does C stand for? Commitment, and what does E stand for? Excellent. See? Our campus community knows we have these, it's a mindset now. So we, are, we will continue to do that. So think for a moment, if we could make this progress while convincing many people to believe in and invest ECSU, our future impact will be greater 
because we will work together for the greater good of this university, the community, state, nation, and world. ECSU matters to this region and the state. As a constituent institution of the University of North Carolina, ECSU will be the University of the Northeastern North Carolina. Is that right, Senator? I got it right. All right. But also the entire state. ECSU is an economic engine in this region. The university's economic impact for northeastern North Carolina was last reported at $231.5 million. With the tenacity of Vikings, we will forge the future, success and sustainability of ECSU. We are optimistic about ECSU's future. We are courageous, we are resilient, we are empowered, and we will leave a legacy. As we forge the future, success and sustainability of this region's university, dreams will turn to reality. With your support, we will ensure a bright future for this great institution and this region. ECSU is rising. May God bless Elizabeth City State University. And I say to you, I am proud to serve as your chancellor. Viking pride. Viking pride. Viking pride. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please, please do keep standing. The ECSU University Choir will lead us in singing the alma mater. Thank you all. Please be seated. We congratulate you, Chancellor Dixon, and we offer sincere thanks for accepting the charge to lead this university into a new era. We will close with a benediction from Pastor Benny Oates. Following that, please remain seated for the recessional. Pastor Oates.
Today is a new day. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today, no matter where we come from, where we're going, we all go to ECSU. And we are Viking proud of a God, a loving God who has created each and every one of us who would, in God's wisdom, send us and anoint such a courageous and strong leader as Dr. Dixon. I thank you for what you do and how you serve, and I thank God for who you are. I invite you to please stand as you are able. And now receive this blessing. May God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And to live this day, today, with new fervent love for who you are as a Viking. And may you live in such a way that those to whom love is a stranger will find in each and every one of you generous friends. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.